Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be answering some of your guys' questions today, so please be sure to go over to the community tab, leave your topic, question, theory, or idea over there because there is a new post just as this video is going out so if you want to be featured in one of these question videos that we do quite often at the moment like two to three times a week or something like that please be sure to go over to the community tab right now all right so the first question and this is again talking about like a bunch of different stuff to do with dc tv it can be supergirl the flash or anything and we'll answer the best questions okay so glacier the ice wing on youtube asks the ending of Supergirl didn't really have its usual tie with a bow ending. So, I was wondering if they will end the plot and start a new one in Season 6 or continue with the same plot throughout the entire season. So that's a very good question and lots of people have been asking this. So yeah, they didn't end it, you know, as they kind of usually do. Supergirl was more so like normal compared to some of the other shows, especially relating to The Flash. Because The Flash was cut down by three episodes when Supergirl was only cut down by like part of an episode and that's it. So they didn't include everything and that's probably because they didn't set up everything. And maybe they'll want to save some of it for episode one. But anyway, yeah. So we didn't have the usual ending for Supergirl. So I believe what they're going to do next season as they start the new season is... I don't think they're going to just end the plot. I think they're going to continue... Lex was supposed to be defeated at the end of last season and he's obviously going to be defeated at the start of this season unless they want to keep him around more. Maybe they change their plans a bit. But, you know, I think it's up for debate as of right now as to what they're going to do with Lex and what they're going to do with Leviathan, that being Gamine, and, you know, her turning into that robot kind of demon thing, whatever she was. And then, you know, whoever she answered to who was the higher up at Leviathan. We still have questions coming in from last season. And I think we're going to get that at the start of the season. Due to how they ended it and how they had to mash it together. Because otherwise, I'm not sure. Maybe we were going to get some Leviathan stuff next season. But I don't think they were planning to do that much to do with Lex. Unless, you know, that was the thing that they've lied about. And maybe they were going to do Lex next season. But anyway, so yeah, they will continue the same plot. It won't be throughout the entire season. It'll be like the first half of the season or the first few episodes of the season. So don't worry about that. Okay, so the next question comes from Mega Wubba on YouTube who asks, How will Season 7 of The Flash set up a Impulse spin-off series in the Arrowverse? So this is a very good question because we've talked about this over the years about Impulse potentially coming and yeah. Pretty much, Season 7 is not going to set up a spin-off show, so I wouldn't put your hopes up because there have been sort of no links to that at all. And, you know, I think it's an interesting idea that potentially one day we may see Impulse on The Flash, and that's why I brought it up in this video, because I would really like to see Impulse on the shows, because I'm a big fan. Like, if you've even seen, like, Young Justice or something, he's so good. So, I really want to see Impulse. Impulse is the grandson of Barry Allen in the comics and also in Young Justice which I'm sure many of you guys have watched so I'm saying he's probably gonna come at some point I mean Nora was kind of like a version of Impulse like her own little version but you know they didn't name Impulse or anything like that and they have suggested that there's different timelines where this could have happened maybe you know the twins like the tornado twins that Barry has in the comics and Impulse is another one that could potentially happen. And I think it would make for a great story. So I'm hoping for it to happen. But yeah, let's move on. So Megawaba also asked another question, which I thought was very good. So how will season one of Superman and Lois set up a Legion of Superheroes spin-off show in the Arrowverse? So again, don't get your hopes up for a Legion of Superheroes spin-off show like with the Impulse show. However, I don't think Superman and Lois is going to set it up. But I really appreciate the sentiment and like the idea behind your questions. And I think they're very good ideas because I would love to see these. And I would love to see a Legion of Superheroes spin-off show. Especially out of Superman and Lois and Supergirl. Obviously Superman and Lois is a spin-off of Supergirl anyway. 
So the Legion of Superheroes have shown up on Supergirl, like, you know, for the most part of season three. And it would be amazing to see Monal, Win, Imra, and all the other Legionnaires team up and be this sort of new version of Legends of Tomorrow that is more like Supergirl rather than like a comedy show that Legends is right now. So more of a team up show. And I would really, really be down for this, but I don't think it's that likely. Okay, so let's move on. So this comes from Hassa Hassan on YouTube who asks, What do you think the new artificial speed force will be like? So I don't know exactly what it's going to be like, but from what I can tell, it seems like they might be able to fix the speed force. But that being said, there is a high, high chance and a much greater chance that they will create the new artificial speed force. And obviously they've tried to make it and I think they'll just perfect it. I don't think it's going to look that much different. Like maybe there's some difference in, you know, when they go into the actual speed force, the artificial speed force probably going to be like a bit altered from how the speed force is normally seen and perceived but i mean i think the power is going to be pretty much the same okay so the next question comes from fx snipers on youtube who asks do you think that there is a potential for a justice league live action tv show so again i kind of wanted to bring up all of these questions to do with the new tv shows you know in this one video rather than like putting it in like a bunch of different ones and I think it's very interesting the idea of a Justice League live action TV show because they've set up the Justice League already like they have the Justice League headquarters as we saw at the end of Crisis on Infinite Earths they set up a potential villain that being Gleek who you know we really haven't had any hints towards but that was at the end you know right where we got that Justice League reveal where they got the round table you got the seats for all the different members so there is definitely a potential for a Justice League spin-off TV show. However, if it's going to be a Justice League TV show, it's not going to have, you know, Supergirl and it's not going to have The Flash. It's not going to have our main characters because the actors just simply don't have the time and the showrunners and the people behind the scenes don't have the time to do two shows at once. It's practically impossible. So if they're going to do a Justice League live action TV show, it's either going to be after all the shows have ended or it's going to be a Justice League TV show where it's none of our main Arrowverse heroes. It'll be like the side heroes that team up together and basically create a new Legends of Tomorrow is what it would be. So I don't think there's a potential unless all the shows ended and they just decided to go for a Justice League TV show, which I don't think they would do pretty much is going to be the side characters if they ever do that or they bring in completely new cast and you know make it something completely different all right so the next question comes from tyrone flame on youtube who asks have they confirmed the return date for the hour shows so this is a good question because i'm actually not too sure you guys can correct me on this but i'm pretty sure it's in the week starting on the 20th of january when most of the shows are coming back, obviously Supergirl and Legends aren't going to come back in January at all. And that's going to be coming out later in the year, around the mid-season time around, like May slash June time, when Stargirl premiered this year. So for the other shows, it's going to be that January date, you know, around that time. And they've obviously released the schedule and everything like that. You know, the Flash is at its normal date. You can have Superman and Lois instead of, like, Supergirl. Obviously, you'll have Batwoman, but Batwoman will be different because it'll be a recast or, like, you know, a new lead character, essentially, for the show. So, there's going to be a lot of changes. The Flash is going to stay the same. Obviously, Legends and Supergirl are coming later. But then, you know, you've got the new show, Superman and Lois, which is very exciting. In regards to release dates, yeah, you know, that week in January, towards the end of the month, that's when we're going to see the return of the shows. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and if you want to be featured in the next video where I answer your questions, please be sure to go over to the community tab right now and submit your topic, idea, theory or question. But anyway guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.